This is Good Morning Iowa. It is 6 o'clock on your Wednesday. We thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Samantha Mesa. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chinu Her. As your family gets ready, multiple people are dead and several others injured as tornadoes came tearing through parts of Iowa. This morning, all the cleanup is set to begin. We have live team coverage. Local 5's Megan McPherson is near Greenfield, which received the brunt of the damage. But first, we're going to get to meteorologist Bree Sullivan to get you up to speed on weather conditions at this very minute. Good morning, Bree. Good morning. Yeah, I want to take a look at the. With that, let's get a live look outside in Des Moines, the West Mixmaster, as well as the East Mixmaster and Newton this morning. So far, so good out there. Road conditions do look good. That area at Newton yesterday, at one point, the roads were shut down because of flooding, but this morning it looks like everyone is cruising along just fine. Your current time right now is 6.02. The Iowa State Patrol says multiple people are dead and more than a dozen are injured from the tornado that went through Greenfield. First responders this morning haven't released any official numbers, but they do plan on having more details soon. Leaders have put out a mandatory curfew. Peace. Now, as Local 5's Dana Searles reporting, Governor Reynolds is also making a stop this morning in Greenfield to survey the damage to the city. The governor also issued a proclamation of disaster emergency for 15 counties following the storms. The proclamation allows state resources to be utilized for damage. It also activates the Iowa Individual Assistance Program. School there. And if you are unable to get a hold of a loved one in Greenfield, be sure to call the Iowa Department of Public Safety Storm Lake Communications Center at 712-732-1341. That number right there on your screen. Take a look at your screen there. Crews had repaired and blocked off roads because of flash flooding Tuesday in Des Moines. At least six. One. Storms also made their way through Ankeny and Alleman Tuesday afternoon. Strong winds ripped two very large pine trees up from the ground and tore apart a family's shed. The owners of the property told Local 5 they were thankful for no injuries and only had property damage. And here's some video from the old Des Moines University campus right across the street from the campus that I shot yesterday on Des Moines West Side. This tree was knocked over onto Grand Avenue, blocking off a part of the road. You see the roots there ripped right out of the pavement. That was all due to high winds that we also experienced on Tuesday. And from trees being knocked over, Bree, to flooding, that was kind of how Tuesday started. Yeah. As the day went on, we really saw that tornado damage. Yeah, yesterday on GMI, we just had a train of rain, 70s. All right, thank you, Bree. 610 is your time right now. Let's take a look at traffic outside. I just checked with DOT, no, uh, no crashes or lane closures to report at this time. But as you take a look around the area this morning in Des Moines, the West and East Mixmasters, and also in Newton this morning, the sun is coming out. Things look good out there. No crashes, no lane closures, road conditions also look good. A Des Moines sewer project is on its final stage and the construction is shutting down some roads. So I'm going to let you know what to keep an eye out for. It's just been uh, endless uh, videos and pictures coming in of all that damage that we're seeing out there. So this morning, people in Greenfield, they're beginning to uh, start that road to recovery. Yeah, I'm thunderstorms, but dry for Saturday. All right, thank you, Bree. Hey, 617 is your time. Just a reminder for you to stay weather aware today. The text weather to the number right there on your screen. That's 515-457-1026. You'll receive the latest weather updates in your hometown as we continue to track all of this for you throughout the day. So with that, let's turn to your traffic right now. You also get some traffic alerts too if anything else pops up out there this morning. But so far, so good. As we take a look here in Grimes and DeSoto this morning, a slow start out there. Uh, for your Wednesday and then also in Des Moines and in Ames right now. Uh, not a whole lot going on out there. Everything has been pretty smooth for your morning commute. No crashes, no lane closures to report at this time. So with that, let's talk about some construction that is coming to downtown Des Moines as the city works on the final segment of a sewer separation project starting June 3rd. The intersection of Floor Drive, Locust Street, Grand Avenue and 18th Street will close as work begins to convert the area to green space that will host a new trail connection. The city is asking people just to be mindful of all traffic signs and use caution around all those construction sites. Good morning, Iowa.
It is 621 this morning. Broadlawns Medical Center is set to have a new permanent president and CEO. Starting July 15th, Proctor Lurman will head the medical organization. Lurman is an alumnus of Drake University and brings over 25 years of experience to this role. He has lived in the Des Moines area for 30 years. Late last year, Broadlawns former CEO Anthony Coleman resigned. All right, 622 is your time. A live look this morning of downtown Des Moines. A beautiful start to the day. You see the sun out, but the worst of the weather is behind us. More storms are expected before the weekend. So Bree's going to be back with details in a few minutes. This is Good Morning Iowa. This morning at 630, cities across Iowa are dealing with the aftermath of Tuesday's deadly and damaging severe weather. Areas saw large hail to high wind speeds and flash flooding. West of Des Moines, in the city of Greenfield, a community is grieving after the tornado tearing through the town killed multiple people and injuring several others. We have team coverage this morning as we learn more about Tuesday's deadly storms. Local 5's Megan McPherson joins us live from Greenfield. First, we're uh, going to get over to Bree Sullivan for a check on your weather before we get over to Megan for a look at that damage there. Bree, what is the latest right now as far as the forecast goes? Thankfully, after those storms moved out, lives, as well as the city they called home. Yeah, they're seeing the worst of the storm damage with parts of the city leveled. Tuesday night, Iowa State Patrol confirmed multiple people died and more than a dozen others were hurt as the tornado ripped through town. Yeah, the road to recovery is just beginning for Greenfield as they work to clear out the damage and look to rebuild. Look, just a devastating scene out here, guys. Yeah, and Megan, as we heard from some people that we talked to out there, lots of emotion out there right now. People are still, uh, if they're still looking for their loved ones, it sounds like there is an organization out there offering some help, though. Yeah, that need it this morning. All right, good information for everyone watching this morning. Thank you, Megan. If you are unable to get a hold of loved ones in Greenfield, be sure to call the Iowa Department of Public Safety Storm Lake Communications Center at 712-732-1341. That number right there on your screen. Or food. Yeah, and as we've mentioned, the city of Greenfield was one of the hardest hit. Local 5, we were on the scene Tuesday night as people who live there attempted to just make sense of all of this devastation. In our team coverage, one of those people shared their story with our Jake Brand. The cat just went when our town does. Mm, just devastating to hear that from her there. In a matter of minutes, people's lives were changed forever as family homes were demolished by the storms. The local high school is opening its doors as shelter to those now without a home and people are setting up a place to grab food and water. On Tuesday, Iowa State Patrol commented on the resilience from Greenfield residents. The Greenfield community power. Johnson High School is canceling classes today and asking staff to not be in the building. That's according to the school's website. The school is closed today because of extensive storm damage to the building. It's also canceled. It's a senior awards night, but says all seniors will get their cords and awards before graduation. Classes are also canceled at Samuelson Elementary School in Des Moines after losing power in Tuesday's storms. Morning preschool at Woodlawn Education Center is also canceled. Now take a look at this here. Uh, crews had repaired and blocked off roads because of flash flooding Tuesday in Des Moines. At least. Our 640 is your time when your Iowa's most accurate forecast. A live look this morning in Greenfield as we continuing just getting a look at the damage this morning as the sun continues to come up. Bree, we are seeing just all sorts of damage out there from buildings to trees and still following some deaths out there. Yeah, and it likes Andy. All right, thank you, Bree. 642 is your time now. A live look at traffic in Des Moines, Ames, DeSoto, and Grimes. So far, so good this morning. Haven't seen any issues out there on the road to start your Wednesday. So that morning commute should be good right now as you head out the door uh, to get to work wherever you're heading this morning. Our coverage of Tuesday's storms continues throughout this half hour. Bree Sullivan, Megan McPherson joins us as we continue to learn about Tuesday's damage. We're going to take a live look. Yeah, just incredible damage you see behind her there. So this morning at 645 as Greenfield begins that long road of recovery, people are still searching for loved ones and pets. Local 5's Megan McPherson is on your side this morning. And Megan, we've seen the videos of the damage. We've heard from the people out there, but what can you tell us about just what you're seeing Right now, as it gets light out there. 
marketing happened here. Guys. Yeah, as we take a look at that damage there, uh, you know, yesterday, Bree, it started out with just rain and, and winds mm. and then things kind of just picked up it throughout the day. It escalated yeah. fast and we had chances on Monday. All right, thank you, Bree. 648 is your time. Here's a live look at your traffic. Taking a look here in Altoona as well as West Des Moines this morning. This is going to be by Mill Civic Parkway there. Things look great there in Des Moines here over by Euclid on I-235. And then in Grimes here, everything looks good so far. I just checked with DOT. No crashes, no lane closures at this time. You do see things picking up a little bit out there on the roads, but so far so good to start your Wednesday morning. Another round of layoffs at John Deere, who they now affect in Iowa. Your time is 649. It is 651. We are going to take another look at the storms that just swept through the state Tuesday afternoon. So this is a photo shared with us of a tornado just south of Red Oak, Iowa here in West Des Moines. High wind speeds and heavy wind whipped through the area. Here's another look at the rain. As you can see, it was just pouring down as the morning went on on Tuesday. And one of the areas hit the hardest. That's out in Greenfield, where local vice Maggie McPherson is right now. Yeah, she. At 6.53, turning now to other developing news, a man is expected to survive after a shooting Tuesday in Des Moines. Police say the victim was shot near MLK Jr. Parkway and Douglas Avenue. We'll bring you any other updates to this story on air and online as we learn more. All right, time is 6.53. Caitlin Clark secured another endorsement deal, this time with the Wilson's Sporting Goods. Number 22 signed a multi-year long deal with the company where the partnership will release signature collections, quote, celebrating Clark's continued legacy. Now, she will also help provide feedback on Wilson basketball products. Her signature basketball line is set to be released later this year. And tonight you can catch Caitlin Clark in the Indiana Fever right here on Local 5. That game starts at 9 p.m. as the Fever take on the Seattle Storm. Stick around after the game to catch our nightly newscast immediately following the game. Bree? Yes. Nice, but as the sun comes out, we'll continue to follow just all of that damage from Greenfield this morning. Megan McPherson out there this morning, and uh, we'll bring you all the latest throughout the rest of the day in the morning. And of course, tune in to Local 5 News midday at yeah. 11. We will have everything you need to know to just as everyone moves yep. through the recovery of this. Storm. Expecting more information to come in today as well, so we'll update you on air and online. Everybody have a good day.